Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Now, in today's video, guys, I am going to be doing a catch and cook with my cousin. Pretty much what we're going to be doing is going on my jumbo, catching some fish. There is crappy bass perch. We're going to be trying to mainly target those fish. Then do a pretty cool catch and cook video for you guys, just so you guys can learn how to do it yourselves. I'm not saying this is the best way to do it, but it is a good and very tasty way. Hopefully you guys do enjoy the video. Make sure you do drop a like, subscribe, and let's get fishing. So the three rods I'm going to be using today is this 6.6 six medium heavy musky rod. I like a heavier rod for frog fishing just because I got to get it through that deep brush. And if I do get hooked up with a fish, it does pull me through the weeds pretty hard. The next rod I'm using is a Berkley 7 foot heavy rod. And I use that for usually Sankos, but I do have tied on a bass jig with a trench hog. And the last rod I'm using is a medium heavy 7 foot team Daiwa rod. And on that rod I have a crankbait just because there is a few 5 foot drops in this lake. So whenever we pass by one, I'm going to switch that up and throw that. Sheesh boys, it's a Clear day today. I literally cannot see one cloud in the sky. Clear water, pads are shining. Let's go catch some fish. There's one. A little bank. I literally fought like a perch. First one of the day. First one of the day, as you can see here, too small to keep, so I'm gonna release it. He did hit it on the top water, surprisingly. It is really small for the frog that I was using. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna come over here, get a nice release in the water. There goes Jimmy. Right, mom, get out of here. Oh, that's a decent one. Let's go. That's a bigger one, not gonna lie. It'd be amazing filet. Sheesh, boys. All right, you guys, just caught like a one and a half, two pounder. It's gonna be a good one to eat, so uh, we're gonna keep it. Sheesh. I'm just kidding, guys. I'm not flare. But we did just get off the boat just because the black flies were getting really, really bad. There was like five of them just swarming us, biting us. We did catch a pretty nice fish. We're just gonna show you how to fillet it and how to cook it. So it's not really gonna be a meal for us. We're just gonna eat it and show you guys how to cook it. So let's get back up to the trailer and start filleting. So guys, what we're gonna do is cook them over an open fire. We do have a metal rod with a rack that we can cook them on. So we do that, get a pan, put the corn vegetable oil in, and then we marinate it in Frank's Red Hot, switch it to batter, put the battered Frank's Red Hot in the oil while it's cooked, and then wait for it to boil. So uh, let's get going. Alrighty guys, as you can see, we do have the bass here. So how I'm gonna cut these little guys is you're gonna wanna go behind their fin, cut down, and then cut along their spine. That's pretty much the best way I know how to do it. So uh, let me do that, and then I'll get back to you guys. Boom, as you can see here, guys, we have three fillets just because I screwed up on one of them. And now we have to scale them to take off the scales on the back. That shouldn't take too long. All I do is grab a fork and hold the fork here and slowly run the knife across the bottom. It does work really well, so we'll do that, debone them, and then get them in the Frank's Red Hot. Boom, as you can see there guys, Austin is currently cleaning the fish. He's getting ready for me to cut the bones out and scale them. So I'm gonna wait for him to finish that and then I'm gonna start cutting the bones out and scaling the fish. Sheesh. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do here is you're gonna wanna grab a little bit of the meat, cut down a bit. I made a flat surface, but it should be good. Go down. Find the scale line, and slowly 
back and forth, cut the scale line. You're gonna wanna put nice pressure and kinda cut on a diagonal. Boom, as you can see, there's literally like slim to no meat on that, so this can obviously go in the garbage. Don't need this anymore. As you can see here, beautiful filet, no scales, no bones. That is ready for the Frank's Red Hot. Alrighty guys, so what we're doing now is putting the Frank's Red Hot in a Ziploc bag. After we do that, we're gonna put the meat in there and marinate it for like five to 10 minutes. While we're doing this, we're actually letting the fire burn down there, as you can see. After we marinate it in the Frank's Red Hot, we're gonna actually put it in some flour, and then we're gonna cook up the oil and put it in the oil. So uh, let's get going. But honestly guys, you might be looking at me wide-eyed and being like, yo guys, why'd you put so much hot sauce in it? But honestly, after it gets boiled down and through the oil, it is honestly not that hot. It's just that bitter taste that tastes really good. To be honest, it tastes like KFC chicken. We just washed the fillets, as you can see here. We're gonna slowly put each one in there, deuce it up, slowly grab. This is a big fillet right here. That'll be really good. Throw it in there. This one in there. As you can see, shake them up. We want the least amount of air, so I'm gonna close it up. Get the air out of there. Take it, just shake it like that. Get it going. You know, as you can see the meat in there. Tip it all, shake it. Keep shaking it, get it good, and then leave it for about five to 10 minutes. All right, guys, as you can see here, we do have the flour, and I'm gonna fill up this Ziploc about half a quarter of a way. Nice little mound there. Now we're gonna need a little bit more. There, that's good. You don't want to make sure that the uh, fish can chill in there and be all submerged so we can get all the fish with flour around them. We're going to get the oil ready and get the pan ready. So as you can see here, we got the porn oil and we're going to be putting it on the pan. Alrighty guys, now we play the waiting game and wait for the oil to boil up and then the fillets will be ready to get put on. First fillet is already in there, we're about to put the second fillet. As you can see, come over here. Perfect gold color as you can see there. You're going to want to put it in some napkin just so you can get the grease off. You don't really want to just eat straight grease. Gold nugget as they call it. Perfect, look at that. Crispy, but on the inside it's flaky, really good. The last one. Boom. Alrighty guys, the day has come to an end and we have finished our fish fillets. They smell honestly amazing. I'm not lying at all, it literally smells like KFC chicken. So we're gonna let Austin take the first bite. You tell the camera your impressions of this. As you can see, oh. crispy on the outside, perfect, and it's flaky on the inside, exactly what you want. Perfect crunch. How do you like it? Whoo! Hot. It tastes like buy it at a restaurant. Yeah, it literally tastes like KFC chicken. It doesn't even taste like fish, like. Mmm. So good. Like, I'm not even the type of guy to eat fish. Like, I don't normally eat fish. I don't prefer to eat fish but this I'd rather eat this over a restaurant any day it tastes really really good and it's not hot like the Frank's Red Hot is not hot at all but that's gonna wrap it up for today's video hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure you do drop a like subscribe and remember I'm gonna copy John B here but keep fishing never stop it's awesome Austin sign out let's go